Michael Adams came to Athens in 1997 with a bold vision that the University of Georgia should be as good as the best public universities in the nation. As Dr. Adams prepares to step down 16 years later, that vision has largely been realized. Under the guidance of its 21st president, UGA has experienced historic growth in quality, size, and strength. By almost any measure, the university is the standard bearer for educational excellence in Georgia and ranks among America's top public institutions. But President Adams would be the first to acknowledge that credit for any success he has achieved is shared with the many faculty and staff members, other administrators, students, alumni, regents, and state officials with whom he has worked during those 16 years. And he would also say that nothing he has accomplished at UGA or earlier in his 30-year career in higher education would have been possible without the support, help, and love of his wife, Mary. Mary Adams has twice been the first lady of an educational institution during her 44-year marriage to Mike, first at Center College and for 16 years at UGA. While filling that role with grace and aplomb, Mary has always been an equal partner with Dr. Adams in sharing the responsibilities of leadership at those institutions. UGA has experienced explosive physical growth during the Adams administration. Some $1.8 billion worth of construction has added more than 6 million square feet to the campus space inventory. That construction includes landmark structures as the Zell Miller Learning Center, the Coverdale Center for Biomedical and Health Sciences, East Campus Village, the Lamar Dodd School of Art, the Russell Special Collections Libraries, and the College of Veterinary Medicine Learning Center now rising out of the ground on College Station Road. Much construction was made possible by the UGA Real Estate Foundation, one of Dr. Adams' signature innovations. Enrollment has climbed from about 29,600 in 1997 to about 35,000 today, and student quality is the highest ever. Freshman SAT scores and GPA are at record levels, and undergraduates annually harvest a host of premier national academic scholarships and fellowships, including an unprecedented string of Rhodes scholarships. Academically, the university has never been more robust. The opening of the Health Sciences Campus and the creation of the College of Public Health, College of Environment and Design, School of Public and International Affairs, Odom School of Ecology, and College of Engineering give UGA an academic profile comparable to many leading public and private institutions. Federal research funding and research expenditures have mushroomed placing UGA among the world's top 200 research universities. Private support has also soared. Annual donations now top $100 million. The university's endowment has grown from $249 million to $745 million, and Dr. Adams led the most successful capital campaign in university history, raising more than $600 million. Through its research and public service programs and other initiatives, UGA stokes Georgia's economy with hundreds of millions of dollars annually. President and Mrs. Adams are strong proponents of international education and have significantly enhanced the study abroad program. More than a quarter of graduating students study in another country, many at UGA's year-round facilities in England, Italy, and Costa Rica. The university ranks among national leaders in the number of students in short-term study abroad programs. Dr. and Mrs. Adams were honored for their support of international education with the creation of a scholarship fund in their names that helps students study in other countries. Mary has contributed her expertise and energy in many other ways to help advance the university. Drawing on her interest in art, architecture, and historic preservation, she has had an active role in the renovation and restoration of some of the university's oldest buildings and has been involved in other campus improvement and beautification projects. She was on the board of visitors of the Lamar Dodd School of Art and has supported numerous university fundraising efforts, including serving as honorary chair of the campus campaign for charities and she has fostered the important town-gown relationship, 
graciously sharing her time and talents with the Athens community. She was on the board of directors of the Athens Clark Heritage Foundation and is currently on the board of Girl Scouts of Historic Georgia. A lifetime member of Girl Scouts, Mary chairs the local organization's Legacy Circle and supports many of its other activities. In appreciation of her work, the group has chosen Mary as its Athens Woman of Distinction for 2013. The extraordinary leadership of President and Mrs. Adams has placed UGA in its strongest position ever. Future students will have exceptional opportunities to learn and grow because of the magnificent buildings, the strong academic foundation, the scientific prowess, and the beautiful and environmentally sustainable campus that are the Adams legacy. But that legacy will extend beyond the campus and the city of Athens. It will impact all of Georgia and even beyond as the dynamic and innovative University of Georgia the Adamses have led with passion, vision, and commitment continues to forge a more prosperous, healthy, and progressive future for the state and its citizens. Mike and Mary Adams have rendered superb service to the university and the state, and they have enriched the lives of legions of colleagues and friends with their warmth, generosity, and kindness. It's been our great good fortune to have them as our President and First Lady, and it is with profound gratitude that we present President Adams the Faculty Service Award and Mary Adams the Friend of the University Award. Thank you.